Okay, but students here are three must-knows as we move from period five to period six, so let's contextualize. First, remember that in period four and into period five, we had our first industrial revolution, which we refer to as the market revolution. And remember that the factories and railroads that were built during this industrial revolution in the North were a huge factor in helping the Union win the Civil War in a push period five. Well, in period six, we'll experience our second industrial revolution, which is often referred to as the Gilded Age. And yes, we'll see a ton more railroads, but we'll also see the growth of the steel and oil industries. But in period six, we'll see huge economic changes like the growth of our first national corporations and the formation of trusts and monopolies. Second, of course, a big topic that we studied in A-Push so far is slavery and the treatment of other marginalized groups. Remember that in period five, slavery was finally abolished with the passage of the 13th Amendment. But in period six, we see the lasting effects on slavery on race relations, especially in the South. And despite attempts at building a new South in period six, redeemers and Southern Democrats will do their best to prevent African Americans from approving their economic and social status. And remember that period five was all about manifest destiny, but we also talked about the negative effects of this policy on Native Americans. White settlers will continue to move on Native American land during this time period as a result of the Homestead Act, which was passed during period five. This will have devastating effects on the Plains Indians and even lead to a series of wars and massacres. And third, remember that period five saw the birth of the Republican Party and our first Republican president in Abraham Lincoln. In period six, we'll study a period of Republican dominance, especially with the support of new voting groups like African American men who supported the Republican Party's pro-civil rights policies during Reconstruction. Seriously, the only president in period six that isn't a Republican is Grover Cleveland. So keep that in mind as we move forward. These Republican presidents are extremely pro-business, which will help our industries grow. So good luck in period six. And as always, for more A-Push help, make sure you check out the Ultimate Review Packet.